uh, unit on Earth's tail, the season, and the distribution of sunlight. Okay? So, this is our essential question. Can somebody read what our essential question is? Let me see. Loya? Uh, how does the, the Earth's tail impact the, the distribution and intensity of sunlight? Very good, okay? So that's what we're going to talk about. So let's continue. All right, so listen, before we can proceed, let us unlock some of the vocabulary that we have already, or that you haven't learned yet, and review the ones that we have already talked about, okay? So these are the words that we need to really master, okay? Can somebody read the first one for the class, Skyra? The herbs is the imaginary verb the line across which the earth spins. Very good, so that's an imaginary line, okay? We learned about that. Number two, what's the other important word? Go on. Rotates. Okay, can you read, please? <coughs> the earth rotates on its axis every, the, ro the earth rotates on its axis once every 24 hours, causing day and night. Very good, so the rotation is the one that gives us what? Day and night. night. Excellent. So far, everybody good? Yeah. Okay, next one. How about the third one? Deontay. The earth revolves around the sun once every year. Correct. So this time, the revolution doesn't give us a day and a night. What does revolution give us? Yeah, Kiran? Ward. Huh? Ward. A what? Ward. A what? Ward. Is revolution good? A war? Okay. Revolution gives us a, is war, but that's in a different context, okay? But we just read about it, okay? Let's go back. Revolution means the earth revolves around the sun once every year. So I know in science, some words may mean differently, okay? In another context, in another content area, all right? But that's good, you were able to, to think of another way to explain that, but Let's focus on here. We say revolution is when the earth revolves around the sun. And how long does it take for the earth to go around the sun? Owen? A year. A year, okay? So see that? Rotation, we have a day and a night. Revolution gives us what? A year. A year, very good. Now, can somebody read this last one? Michaela. The earth follows a path around the sun known as Okay, the orbit, remember? All right, just like in the highway, we each have our own lanes, right? Yes. Your parents, we, we don't drive any which way. We follow our own lane, just like the planets. Can you imagine if the planet say, if Earth says, I'm tired of this, uh, of this lane, of this orbit. I wanna go, I wanna, I wanna go switch. Is that possible? No. 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 Would you like that to happen? No. No. Okay, so let's continue. So let's take a look. Let's have a check for understanding, okay? Number one, look at your Neopod. Look at your, uh, go to your devices. What does the rotation of the Earth cause us to experience? Okay, answer in your Neopod. Okay, answer. Mm -hmm. All right, what does it cause us, us to experience? Okay, everybody good? Yes. Okay, let's take a look. What's the correct answer for this one, Jay? C. C, day and night. Let's see if everybody got that right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not working. Anyway, it's C. All right, very good. Next one. How long does it take the earth to go around the sun? Okay, let me go back to Akira. Okay, remember, revolution now is going around the sun, sweetheart, right? Okay, so how long does it take now? What? Okay, going around the sun, when it goes around the sun, okay. Does it, is it only 24 hours? No, no. no. how long does it take? A year, very good, Akira. So now it takes a year. And how many days would a year give us? How many carry? And one fourth days, very good. And in our previous lesson, we already explained what happens to that one fourth day, correct? Yes. Okay, who remembers that? Raise your hand. Very good. And what is it? Okay. It's a leap year. A leap year. Very good. Remember, we said how many one fourths will make up? Will make a one day. Yes. How many one fourths? How many years? Four. 
four. Okay. Anybody born on a leap year? No. Do you know anybody? My auntie yeah, my auntie. Remember, I shared that with you. Very good, Michaela. You remember. All right. Does that mean my auntie will not have a birthday every year? Uh huh. No, because she can celebrate March 1st or she can celebrate uh, February 28th. Okay. All right. Good, good job. So now there's another vocabulary word we need to learn. And it is what? Hemi. Our hemisphere. Hemi, everybody all lies here, okay? When you say hemi, hemisphere, hemi means half, okay? So that helps you. What word, uh, what letter does it begin with? H. H. What does one begin with? H. H. So remember hemi, half. Okay, so we have four halves, okay? The earth can be divided into four halves. Can anybody tell me? Okay, give me one, let me see. Manuel, I haven't heard from you. Mm -hmm. what, what hemisphere, what half can you, can you identify? Um, the earth can be uh, divided into four hemispheres. Okay, just give me one. The uh, eastern hemisphere. The eastern hemisphere, very good. What else, let me see. William, what's the opposite of east? West. West, so we have the western hemisphere. Bria? North. North, okay. Opposite of north, Jaden? South. South, okay. Now, everybody, turn to the, these are, these are the hemispheres. Turn it to your table partner. Decide, which two hemispheres are we living in? Okay, which two have you? Okay, let's see, that's correct, but did both of you agree? Okay, no, we're in the northern hemisphere and the western hemisphere, but if you want to get really technical, we're in the north, but we're in the northern and western hemisphere. Northwestern Hemisphere, okay? If I want to be very technical, okay? Did everybody hear that? Yes. All right, so let me see. So which two hemispheres? Can somebody tell me one? Let me see. Um, Jameer. Oh, which two hemispheres? Uh -huh, just give me one. North. North, so between North and South, we're in the Northern Hemisphere, okay? So that's taken care of. What about this? Which one? Let me see. Okay, um, Cairo. Western. Western. Okay, so are we correct? Yes. yes. All right, we are. All right, very good. So now, let's go, let's continue. This time, we're talking about seasons. All right? Seasons. What are seasons? All right, can somebody read this for me, please? What are seasons? Let me see. Owen. Seasons are short periods of climate change caused by changes in the amount of solar radiation, sunlight, and area of seas. Okay, very good. Okay, now, there are four main seasons, all right? Can somebody tell me what's your favorite season? Okay, what's your favorite season? And tell me why, just a little bit, okay? What's your favorite season, William? Spring, because it isn't too cold or too ice in between. All right, did you hear that? Yes. Okay, who feels the same way as William? Nobody wants, nobody has spring. William's the only one who loves spring. I, I like spring because I like the flowers and like how like the blossom trees bloom so much. Very good. I like good. Like, a lot of, like nature. Excellent. She, 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 uh, William said it's not too hot, not too cold. Akira says that's where she sees the flowers blooming. Correct? What's your favorite, Jace? Fall. Fall. Why fall? Because I like when the leaves off the trees fall. Okay, and he likes fall because he, you go back to school, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go back to school during the fall. So I knew it. I knew Jace loves fall. Who loves winter? Let me see, Jaden. You love snow, okay? You love snow. Okay, what about snow you like? Okay, yes. so Okay, how about you, Michaela? Um, I like winter because it's hot chocolate. You're gonna zip hot chocolate. Okay, very good. Uh, one more. Okay, Royal. Oh, um, me and my mom in winter, we used to get snow and we used to put it, we basically made snow cone. 
Okay, now, with, with, for me, I'm originally from the Philippines, right? There's no snow there. So that's one of the things I, that really made me want to go to the United States. I want to see snow. Well, then yes. then well, I got stuck in the snowstorm. So now well, I was like, well, I'm thinking a different way now. Okay. And if you're coming to Georgia, you're out of luck. All right. There's no snow in Georgia. Go to Ohio. Well, it's no, snow. but it snow. It, it can snow. It All right. Like, okay. Okay, so let's continue. Let's hold on to that thought. Okay, let's continue. All right. Reasons for the seasons. All right. Why do we have seasons? Why can't we just have fall the whole time? We'll be in school every or the whole year. Okay. Why can't we just have winter sipping hot chocolate every day like my Michaela? Why can't we just have spring with all the flowers around us? Why do you think, Carrie? Very good. She has that key word. And what is that? Tilt. Tilt. Okay. What's that tilt mean? Can you demonstrate? Sit straight and then show me how you, what's a tilt? How do you tilt? Very good. Excellent. Now show me again. How do you tilt? There you go. That's a tilt. Excellent. Now let's continue. This time, we're just focusing on the effect of the tilt. We will not be going right away into why we have seasons, okay? Let's find out, one, one, step by step. The Earth's tilt causes the sun's radiation to strike the hemispheres at different angles. Have you ever wondered why some countries are cold, are colder, and some, why like some countries are hotter? Have you ever wondered that? Yes. Why can't they all be the same temperature? Okay, well, why? I all right. Because the quantities are really rare. Let's go back to what you did. What did you, what, what happened the earth doing? Till, till more Tilting. Tilting. Very good. So some parts of the earth will get more direct sunlight. Some parts would get what? Indirect sunlight. Do you understand what, what that means? Yes. yes. Okay. Probably the best way to find out is to really investigate and do some activity. Okay. On your table, you have a lab sheet, okay? This time, uh, you know your groupings, okay? So don't stand up yet when I call for your group number. That's the only time you'll get up, okay? Yes. Now, as usual, when we do a lab, we start with a problem. Remember, we go back to the scientific method. Can we solve something if there's no problem? No. No, no. okay. so. Can somebody read the problem for the class? Okay, read the problem. You have your own copies too, huh? What's the problem? Yes, uh, William. How does the amount of solar energy re received at the equator differ from the amount received at the poles? Correct, okay? So that is what we need to do. When I call your, when I call for your group, you need to go to your stations. You look at this, you put the initial temperature reading, and then after a few minutes, you'll find the final temperature reading, see if there's a difference between the equator and the North Pole. And then after that, each group will have a representative or everybody will explain to the class their findings. Is that clear? Okay, group one, here we go to your station. Group two, okay. Two, group one and group two are the only ones standing up. Okay, hurry up. Group three. Okay, and group four. Okay, everybody. Uh huh. You take a look. Somebody do the readings. Okay, turn the light off for me, please. Okay, group four. Oh, your group is right here. Okay, go to your station. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, go for it. It doesn't matter. Okay, go. Okay, do the readings. Do the readings, okay? Look at the temperature reading. See if there's a difference between what? What are you trying to find out? The difference between what? There is. The, the oh. temperature in the yeah. equator and the one in the. <laughs> oh, no, 
the equator and the North Pole. Okay, what do you think? What's your hypothesis? Which one do you think will have a higher temperature, Cairo? Okay, very 